Taking a picture of you building it now. Okay. Be careful now. Well, because if I drop one, if it calls. Yeah, then you'll have to start all over again. No, we'll take the picture. Yeah. Oh, we got to take a look at yours, Gear. Yeah, look, look at mine. I made, I made this bridge and the maze. Huh? Do uh -huh. you see? Yeah. I don't think you can get any of this to make it, but I And you go up here, and you go up here, and here's the maze. I beat it. Oh, wait. Let me get a close picture of the maze, okay? You see the bridges. Now, show me how you go on the maze. You go... Start. Where do you start? Right there, on the bridge? Right here. That's the starting point, not over there? No, right here. Okay, show me how you go. Uh -huh. Over the bridge. Come all the way around. Uh huh. Over that bridge. And right to the end, huh? That's the I like it. I think you did a great job. Don't you? Uh-huh. Did you use all of your dominoes? Yeah. Okay. Shut it off and then we'll do it when we're ready. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Keep going. get down here so I can get a good shot of it. Okay, now where, which side are you going to start with? Here. Okay, but don't stand in front of the camera when you're knocking over. Just start, go over there. What do you mean? Near where that box is. I don't know. Right there, right there. Okay, now start it. Should I do it? Yeah. Carol, look, watch it. Yeah. Come on, because I can't stay like this to Stand back. What are you doing? Well, I want to take a picture of you. Hi, Dad. Is this today your birthday party, Michael? Yeah. How old are you going to be? Nine. Nine years yeah, old? Yeah, this is the kid. How, you, how did you get to be nine? That's what I want to know. Uh, how did you get there? Went back in time to 1861. <laughs> yeah, what happened in 1861? He made penis pants. Yeah, it was like wieners. What did you do, Michael? Tell me now. Uh, okay, this is, okay. Your teacher is going to see this, so. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> I'm going to show this to Mrs. Schmidt in the class. Ooh, so you better bad. act pretty, pretty hurt. grown up. You're nine. Right, yes, you're going to yes, be nine yes, years old. Yes, That's not a yes, baby anymore. He picks his boogers. Michael. Okay. okay. What do you do? 8:30 p.m. He picks his um. 
takes her Look at her. How does he do that? He goes like this. What? What'd you say, Dad? You're on camera. You gotta talk nice, okay? Okay, Dad. All right, now show me the balloon. Show me what you're gonna do with it. It says okay. to to a super to a stupid star mom to a super star mom. That's what it says. Want me to let go now? Do you let it go now? Whenever you're ready, Mom. I'm ready now. Okay. Let it go. Let it Wait, go. Okay. You are you ready? Yeah, but I gotta stand farther back. Start now. Whenever you're ready. Start mom here. Go back. See it? Still see it? Uh huh. There it goes. Yeah, you still have to do it. Until you can't see it. You have to still do it. Here, yeah. look, it's right there. I know. Going pretty the far. Darn you guy. still see it? <laughs> Just vaguely. Now do you see it? Yeah. Okay, now I'm not it's saying that. Far gone. You can't see now. How wait, how was that, Dad? Good. Did that was go a good job. Didn't it go high? Yep. Oh. Went high. No, it's fast, wasn't it? Now, uh, Gary wants to hold the camera for a minute. Yeah, can I? Can I too? No, stand back, Michael. I'm gonna I'm yeah. take a good shot of Michael. No, first I want to see the balloon and the Here, stuff. no, you can see me. You can take me now. Hey, hey, Gary, guess what? What, Michael? They can see you to hold these kids down. Ah! Come on, my neck. He's nine years old. I can He's see the balloon. One, two, three, Look four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now. No, no, no. Wait, I didn't take the picture. Uh, yes, you did. You've been taking it. No. Now, come on, come on. Let Michael take one of us. Hey, Bye -bye. don't put your finger in come front of there. Now, can I see it? No, I want you to take a picture of us. Can you pick me Hold up? Can you pick me up? And just aim it at us. Pick it. Pick. Okay. Are you aiming it at us? Yeah. Okay, now I got to. Give him seven, seven no, spankings no, he's seven no, years old. Wait, hey, wait, wait, hey, hold it. Pick me up. Michael. <laughs> no, I'm going to have to take it away from okay, you Okay, now. okay, okay, okay. Well, you can't do it. Okay, I, okay, I can't do it. Because you can't behave with okay, it. Okay, I'll put it good. <laughs> okay. I got Gary. Ah, uh, shut up. Uh, uh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Good boy. Okay, you can wake up now. 
You ever have one of those days? Okay, you're gonna wake up. Up. Good boy. Let's give him a big hand for a job well done. Yeah. Come on, Richard, back to your dressing room. Because now that I have your attention, I guess we can get into what this show is really all about. Now, like I said, my show is all about finding magic. Unfortunately, the kind of magic that you've just seen, you normally only find when you're at a magic show. However, that's not the only place you can find magic. In fact, the next trick I'm about to do uses something that uh, we all sort of find around our own oh, house. Oh, I've seen this so be, one. Good, you can do it. I can't do it. Oh, well, then why don't you watch to see if I do it right, okay? Yeah, because what I have here is I have three pieces of rope, and these three pieces of rope are all exactly the same size. Now, what we're going to... Wait a minute. I'm sorry, I must have, must have brought along the wrong pieces of rope. I was... You think I can do that? Yeah. I don't know. I, I've done this now. I, I did do a trick something like that a long time ago. Let's see if I can remember how it works. Um, well, first of all, let's look at what we have. We have a short here, a short rope, medium rope. Okay, big long rope, just like that. Now, let's see. Um, first thing I have to do is bring all the ends up to the top. I do remember that part. Bring up the short end and well, the medium end and great big long end, just like that. And then with a the snap of my fingers, up, they all magically become the same size. Now, the <coughs> snap of my fingers, up, and they all magically... Ma Wait a minute, let me straighten these out. We'll start again. I have three pieces of rope. And, ah, oh. <laughs> navy blue. It's navy blue, yeah, I think you're right. So that means that you better watch and listen a little bit more carefully, because if you're always talking, you're going to miss stuff. Okay. Okay? Got it. Good deal. Now, like I said, there's nothing else inside the bag. Let me show you. Turn it all the way inside out, nothing oh, at all. Yeah, this one. See, you're talking again. What'd you miss? <laughs> Did you miss something? How do you know? You weren't paying attention. <laughs> now, like I said, nothing in the oh, bag, boy. but we're... See, here we go again. Okay. Now, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make these two scarves magically change color. Now, the way this trick works is I take the white scarf and I put it deep down inside the bag, like so. But I take the dark blue scarf and I put it deep down inside the bag. Then I wave my hand in front of the bag. I snap my fingers. Ah! And now they've magically changed color. The white scarf has magically turned into a dark blue scarf. And the blue scarf has magically turned into a white scarf. Isn't that amazing? No, <laughs> they're all the same color. No, this one used to be white. Now it's blue. Uh -huh. it, oh, yeah, I switched. Yeah, because you put it in last. Wait, you're, you're telling me you don't believe they really changed color? Huh? No. All right, all right, all right, all right. I was afraid this might happen, especially with this crowd. So uh, I'll try to do it again, only this time I'll leave the corners sticking out so you can actually see them change color. Okay? Now there's the blue scarf right there. Put the white scarf right over here next to me, and on the count of three, it will magically change color before your very eyes. Here we go. And one, two, three, ho! Oh, and they've magically changed color. White scarf turned blue, blue scarf turned white. Isn't that amazing? No. It's a tough crowd. Okay, um, <laughs> I guess I guess there's only one way to prove to you that they are really changing color, and that is by stopping them changing color halfway in the middle. Now, most people don't know how scarves magically change color. It's really very simple. Little tiny pieces of color magically fly back and forth between the two oh. scarves. It's true. true. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Now, to make them stop changing color halfway in the middle, what we have to do is we have to say the magic word, whoosh, but it doesn't work if just I say it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count to three. When I say three, I want everyone to say the magic word. Whoosh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Now, don't feel silly about this, because I'm up here in front of everyone doing this, all right? <laughs> On the count of three. And one, two, three. Whoosh. See, now, you guys didn't whoosh with the rest of us. Yeah. Quick little whoosh right here. Just a little whoosh. Go ahead. Whoosh. Very good. Very good. Thank you. And, uh, oh, the trick actually worked, too, because now you see... The blue scarf seems to have little white spots all over it. And the white scarf has, yep, you guessed it, very, very dark blue spots, just like that. Now, wait a second. Seems to be a spot missing. Should be right there in the white space. Maybe it's still there inside the bag. Can I see that bag? I don't see it. You know what? You know what? We're going to count to three again, and except this time when I say three, I want everyone to say, here, spot, and I'll try to get that last spot to jump out of the bag. You ready? Are you ready? And one, two, three. Hey, Spot. And there's my friend Spot. Right there, good dog Spot. Take a bow. Woof. Okay. Hey. We'll take Spot and the scarves and the really awful jokes and toss them out of the way over here. Hey. Yeah, that's the way the frame bends. And when the mirror is in there, I don't know how the mirror does it. Uh, that just shows you that something. Right there. Oh, 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 this and, is my uh, specialty. This is, this is 
might you specialize in assisting magicians? Is that, the, is that a career choice? Or? <laughs> you know what, there is only one fair way to do this, and that is that since this is a birthday party, we should probably have a birthday person come up and help. So what I'm going to do is close my eyes, put my hand out like this. I'm going to count to three. And when I say three, the birthday person will be standing right here underneath my hand. And one! <laughs> <laughs> Get out here! Never trust the birthday person. A little known fact. Come up here and help me. Trust the guest. Now let's see. Your name is Michael. Hi, Michael. How old are you? Uh, nine. It's your ninth birthday, huh? Yeah. You married? No. No. <laughs> well, right. Now, Michael. Michael, have you ever helped a magician before? What? Once? Good, I like an experienced assistant. Now, what you're going to do is you're not just going to help me. You actually get to do magic with me. Would you like to do that? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, let me go get the stuff with me. First thing you have to do is stand right here over the trap door. Face out this way so everyone can see your hands moving. Stay right there. I'll be right back. All right. Now, let me make sure I got this. Let me try this. Okay. And, um... Okay. Now, what I want you to do, Michael, is I want you to take this. this you know what this is, by the way? It's a bamboo stick. It's amazing how you make your voice come out over there, Michael. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> It, well, it is, a, it is a bamboo stick, but it's a very special bamboo it's stick. Bamboo. It's filled with magic, so it actually has become a magic wand. Now, what I'd like you to do for me, Michael, Hello. is take this magic wand and hold it way up high in the air. Oh, he take it. Look like forever. Hold it up high in the air. Very good. Now, I want you to stand on one foot and go like this. Go. <laughs> very good. You can put your foot down. That doesn't do a thing for the trick. I just like to make people do that. Um, now let's, oh, found the other things that we need here. Actually, oh, I don't think this back, you look silly. Now, what we're going to try to do... What is this trick? Because if you're talking, Michael's not going to be able to hear what I'm going to ask you. What I have here is I have three little red spongy rubber balls. Yeah. And what we're going to try to do, Michael, is we're each going to try to make one of these magically disappear from our hands. And I'll show you just how to do it. It's oh, very simple. I now, I have one, two, three spongy rubber balls and only one, two of us. So I'm going to take the extra one and set it over there. Now, here's how this works. I take one of them. I scrunch it up into my hand very, very tightly. Just like that. Still there? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Scrunch it up very tightly. Got it. the back of my hand very, very lightly. Doot. And I'm going to hit your hands really hard. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tap your hands very lightly. Now, Michael, I'd like you to go like this. Go. Very good. And then slowly open your hands and show everyone that it's magically disappeared. Just like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to... You fit two in his Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Michael, we were trying to make these disappear. We weren't trying to make any more of them. Um, I knew we were going to have problems with this. There's a troublemaker in every... Wait a minute, do you want to try this again? Yeah. Only this time, instead of me making one disappear, I'm going to try to make two of them disappear. Yeah. Now, I don't know whether I can do this or not. We're going to take these two. I'm going to scrunch them up into my hands very, very tightly. And... Still there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, watch carefully, though. Don't want you to miss anything. Don't you... Keep going. Keep going. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, no. <laughs> scrunch them all up very, very tightly into my hands. Take this one. Scrunch this one up. Now I want you to take this one hold it real tight with both your hands. No peeking. Both hands. Real tight. Now just hang on to it just like that. Perfect. I'm going to take the magic wand. Tap the back of my hand once, twice, because I have two of them. Tap it. 
Tap your hands once. Can the mic will go like this? Wait a second. Try this. Okay, now try this. Okay, now try this. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. I'm just kidding. So what I want you to do, Michael, is slowly open your hands and show everyone that it's magically disappeared, just like that. And it's magically... Hey, that's a ball that would suck together. One, two, wow. Oh, and wait a minute. Ah! <laughs> There's another one. I don't know how that happened, but I do know one thing. And that is that I think Michael was a great assistant, and I think I would give him a great big hand for helping me out. Yay! Thank you very much. Go back. Sit down. We'll put this stuff out of the way. Well, now, since I'm doing tricks with assistants, it's probably time to bring out another one of my favorite assistants. And this is her, her big, uh, her big trick here. Come on out here, Liz. Good girl. That's Richard. Now, Elizabeth, no, this is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I want you to hop down on the here we go, there's a lion with his name right there. Here we go. We're the same. All right. Now, any, any of you adults want a balloon? I want a snake. You like a snake? You may have a snake. I like a snake. Yeah, only one. Hold on. I know about a green snake, the orange one. Can we decorate these by coloring them? If you use, if you use uh, magic markers, yes, be very, very careful. <laughs> Watch that can't be found in the way. Why, thank you. You're welcome. And would you like a balloon? No, thank you. You sure? Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, 
This is from Richard. Grandma, look. Yeah, he, you take hey, that off, me. that sticker off, and you put it on you. It says, oh. I have nine. I'm going to, I'm going to, thank you, Grandma. Richard, so you take this off. Yeah, thank you, Grandma. Okay. Thank you, Grandma. Okay. Who's going to open this? You can open it. Here, Richard. Oh! Okay. Yeah, you should rip it. <laughs> yeah, you could rip it. some cone heads here. Yeah. Michael. Wait. 
One more minute, okay? One or two minutes. Two minutes. Ah! Oh, wait. We need to die from this guy, okay, Dad? If you do, I'll kiss you. Oh, shut up. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna catch it. Now you mentioned it. Catch yeah, it, Jingleberry! <laughs> Oh, 
Michael. Come on in the light, Mike. Okay. <laughs>